I found this wonderful retro PC online for I think $40, $50 and I had to have it. I had to have it because I really wanted to start a retro project. Uh, I have I wanted to have a system to install Windows 98, Windows 95 and of course VirtualBox is not enough. So I found this wonder from T-Mobile and it's quite uh, it's it's quite something guys take a look at this take a look at this we are going to clean this baby up really well in this video and uh, hopefully in the near future we are going to have a lot of projects for this uh, specific unit just look inside just look how this uh, uh, case is built really good quality and a lot of options you are going to see how many fans this uh, this case has and of course the the motherboard uh, is laid out uh, really clear on the side panel I've to, to be honest I've never seen uh, such a case before and uh, yeah right there on the floor on the case floor there are some accessories for installing new hard drives but before we start to uh, get deep into the cleaning session I just want to mention the computer specifications. Processor is Intel Pentium 4, 2.8 GHz. The motherboard is from Asus uh, P4 P800VM socket uh, 478. The memory installed in this unit is uh, 1.2 GHz, 400 MHz, there are 4 DIMMs and uh, the hard drives. Hard drives, we have two hard drives on IDE one is 40 gigs and the other is 80 gigs and of course the graphics card you are going to see we have a really interesting graphics card from nvidia fx 5500 256 megabytes on a gp slot okay now that we know the complete specifications of this uh, computer we have to start working cleaning this baby up is going to include taking out all the parts every component is going to get out is going to get clean and uh, of course a new thermal compound is going to be applied on the processor the good part of this uh, uh, project is that the previous owner uh, took really good care of this uh, computer as you, you are going to see it's not going to be really dirty there's not much uh, I have to do in order to clean this baby up of course the fans are going to get really cleaned up and uh, yeah that's it now we are going to remove the motherboard and you are going to see what kind of system for attaching the motherboard to the case really weird system with no screws yeah you are going to see right here the motherboard just uh, pops into those uh, spots and that's it there are no screws involved and i was really uh, scared that i'm not going to be able to remove the motherboard without breaking it up and uh, yeah this is the kind of uh, problems you are going to get into when you are going to start a retro project nobody uses this type of system anymore right here we are almost done taking out all the components what's left are the hard drives the floppy drive and the dvd drive which are really easy to take out from this case just look at this you just have to uh, pull them out and it's incredible that uh, back in the days cases had this wonderful and helpful technology yeah and what what you're seeing right here is a uh, 80 gigs uh, western digital hard drive you just have to uh, think about how much technology how much storage technology evolved in the past uh, 10 or 15 years it's amazing thinking that back in the days you had to rely on uh, just 80 gigs, 40 gigs uh, hard drives. Nowadays there are absolutely amazing uh, hard drives up to 15, 20 terabytes. Absolutely amazing. Oh yeah, and this is a DVD burner, a really weird one. It uh, can uh, write CDs but it cannot write DVDs. And yes guys, this is it, everything is pulled apart. Uh, everything is going to get cleaned really nice and really well every bit of dust is going to go away and uh, yeah at the, at the end of this uh, video 
we are going to have a really clean and a really a nice retro computer i pulled out uh, absolutely every component we are going to clean out the ide cables the graphics card the ram so stay tuned guys because this wonderful project is just starting up and uh, yeah we are going to start by cleaning the front panel the plastic front panel white uh, white front panel fortunately is not uh, yellowed it's just uh, as i said before this case was really in a good shape the ex owner did uh, a very good job of taking care of uh, the computer itself and uh, yeah i'm going to use just window cleaner to wipe out the dust when it comes to the cpu uh, i'm going to wipe out the old uh, thermal compound and i'm going to apply a new a new a fresh uh, layer of thermal grease as it comes for the graphics card these uh, fx5500 they do not need any specific maintenance i'm not going to take the radiator apart and apply a new thermal compound on the processor because it's not going to help in any way just remember that this old graphics card if they manage to <laughs> stay alive the, so much they manage it because they are really cold uh, graphics card they are not going to uh, impose uh, thermal problems the cpu radiator of course is going to need some cleaning and as you are going to see the cpu fan also is going to get into a really intense cleaning right here uh, yeah I, I just look at this uh, radiator aluminum radiator we evolved so much in uh, what we called uh, cpu technology nowadays we need uh, a special uh, cooling for every powerful cpu remember this pentium 4 2.8 gigahertz was top of the line and it's absolutely amazing how much uh, cpu technology and cpu cooling technology evolved through the years okay so as i mentioned before all the components are in really good shape they are not uh, pretty dusty the ex owner took really good care of this uh, computer so all i have to do is just wipe out some really thin dust from this uh, hard drive from the floppy drive from the dvd cd burner and uh, yeah we are going to be able to put them back uh, in no time Okay guys, this is the final result. This is how this computer looks like after it's been really thoroughly cleaned and uh, we are going to have some really interesting projects in the future. When I look at this, it just uh, makes me think that uh, the early 2000s are not uh, over yet. This is the type of case you would uh, definitely see, the type of computer you would definitely see in the late uh, 90s the early 2000s and uh, yeah this is our little project little retro, retro project and of course we have to see if everything works we assemble everything back uh, put it back together and as you can see right here of course <laughs> surprises surprises it the computer doesn't start maybe you're going to find it funny but it actually there is uh, an unwritten law which clearly states that uh, every time you touch uh, <laughs> an old component an old computer every time you took parts apart of this uh, retro computers and you put them back together the computer is not going to work anymore <laughs> troubleshooting this uh, problem was uh, pretty easy and straightforward 
uh, as soon as I check the RAM modules to be sure that they are perfectly seated I uh, went to the front panel on the motherboard and I saw that the power switch cable was not in the right position so I put the power switch on the perfect uh, uh, assigned uh, position on the motherboard on the front panel uh, pin and as you can see right here the computer started normally so guys what do you think about this uh, specific project if you liked this video don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like and share it with your friends it would really help me to grow this channel and uh, yeah i hope you are going to come back for more fut future projects just like this one and uh, of course i have one video on the channel installing windows 98 on this specific unit because i as you can see right here it came with uh, Windows 7. I cannot imagine why would someone install Windows 7 on this specific uh, uh, computer because there are no drivers for absolutely anything. You cannot use it with Windows 7. You cannot use it with uh, Windows 98 also. But it's uh, a really uh, interesting uh, piece of technology. Just look how it looks when you put it near a really modern computer. Right there in the left uh, side of the desk we have the uh, i9-10900K and on the right side we have the Pentium 4. Imagine that, an i9-10900K near Intel Pentium 4. 2.8 gigahertz from more than 20 years ago okay guys so thank you for watching and have a really really nice day